Okay, this is an infrared receiver project. Let me get a little closer, hopefully it doesn't blur. That's the schematic. Now this is initially designed for 220 volts, so I had to adjust a lot of the values for 120 volts and it works perfectly. Also included in this schematic, you're going to see there's a shunt regulator right here. It's a TL431. And if you don't have one of these shunt regulators, all it's doing is maintaining 5 volts to this top rail right here. Feeding into the piezo buzzer, piezo alarm, and feeding into the TSOP1738 infrared receiver module. Now if you don't have this, you could eliminate this section right here and put a 5.1 volt Zener right here and it should work just fine. I'm going to demonstrate right now. Alright, so this is the receiver module right there. I just put it together as breadboard to show how it works. Right there is the piezo. And over here is a 1UF 250 volt uh, mild, uh, poly capacitor. And that does is acts like a resistor without the heat. And just for demonstration purposes, I got an 80 milliamp fuse hooked up to a 120 volt extension cord. All right, so right now I'm going to demonstrate. Now the range on this thing is incredible. It works like with this remote right here for a Sony TV, or actually a Samsung, it works at least 50 feet away. It'll it'll detect. So I'm going to come up with some sort of a use for this circuit besides just triggering this piezo alarm here. What I'll end up doing is maybe hooking it up to a relay with that it can latch it on, latch it off. So that'll be another project. But for now, I'm just going to show you how it works. I'll do it up close. All right. Again. You see, because your camera can detect infrared, but we can't. See it? All right. So now... So if you want to test any remote control, you could use this circuit for it. Right here, it's very easy. Just put it together, point your remote at it, and that's it. What I'm going to do is convert it. I'm going to eliminate the piezo and maybe feed into a transistor or something and have it trigger and latch on and latch off with the remote. So I'll put the link to the schematic in the description box, and you can give it a shot.